Greetings and salutations and welcome to this particular YouTube video. Um, today we're going to be talking about an anime. It's based off a manga. In case you didn't read the title of this video, it is called The Duke of Death and His Mate. Now, uh, this show is airing currently this season, and as it hasn't finished airing yet. It's on episode 8, I believe. Um... But I feel I might as well just give my thoughts on it now. I mean, I don't think they're going to fuck it up too badly in the last four episodes. But then again, uh, never say never. And this is the part for all those unfortunate people who have somehow found this video and uh, even worse clicked on it. Uh, and don't actually know what this show is about. I'll try to give a very brief and hopefully painless summary regarding what the show is about. Let's give this a shot. Uh, this takes place in Neil times with horse-drawn carriages and all that jazz, and the main character doesn't actually have a name, or at least he does, we just don't actually know what it is, because everyone just calls him the Duke. Uh, the reason he's called Duke is because he's actually of uh, royal or noble descent, I don't know which one that title actually belongs to, uh, and when he was a kid, he was actually cursed by a witch because magic exists in this world and the curse is is that he'll live a lifetime of misery and to ensure this whatever he touches will die everyone he loves he cannot touch he cannot be held no one will ever love him because if they get too close to him they might die why because if he touches them he'll die do you get the point of the story if he touches something he'll die if it's alive anyways his uh, family uh, starts uh, like like being scared of him and shuns him and whatnot and understandably if the kid trips and falls and like slaps you in the knee or whatever you'll die and so the family solution for their little conundrum is to send him off to a second home with a butler and a maid now the maid's name is Anna um, the butler's name's Rob but he's pretty unimportant uh, well he's not unimportant he's important to me and to you, hopefully. Anyways, the Anna, the maid, important because for some reason she is unafraid of the fact that if she touches him, she'll die. And in fact, she takes advantage of this and sexually harasses him every moment he, she gets, like it's her life's purpose or whatever. The entire story, there's a whole subplot going on about like who the witch was, why she cursed him, and how to break the curse. But the actual main plot is to see how long it takes for her to just full on goatee the poor guy. It's pretty intense. It's pretty enjoyable. And that's it for the summary. I hope that wasn't too uh, painful and boring for all of you. Hopefully some of you stuck around. Uh, now to give you a little bit of a backstory regarding this uh, show, it's based off a manga like I said at the beginning of the video, I believe, unless that was a different take I did. But it's based off a manga and I've actually, I have actually read the manga and I've been reading the manga years before the anime was ever announced. When I saw this being announced, I was uh, amazed and surprised because I didn't know it was popular enough to get an adaptation. I, I, was, I have a pretty strong bias already towards the show, so maybe my next, my opinion on the anime might be a little bit showing. Because this anime, for all those who have watched it, is actually 3D. Um... 3D anime, uh, in case you didn't know, is very poorly received <laughs> in the community. Everyone usually hates it whenever it happens, and for good reason, because usually it's very, very jank, um, and not very good. However, uh, because I already foreshadowed this opinion, it's actually not that bad. This show is. Like, this 3D animation is probably some of the best 3D animation I've seen in anime to date. Then again, I haven't actually watched all that many, and I don't think there's that many to actually, like, get experience from watching. But from what I've seen, this is the best. Uh, the only other one I think I've seen is the unfortunate, like, 2016 Berserk anime, and the, like, it was, like, when was it? There was this anime called Ajin. It had two seasons, it was also 3D, and that was horrible, and a horrible experience. It was a good, like, plot and stuff, but, like, the actual visual aspect, which is important, was horrible. But we're not here to talk about those shows. We're here to talk about The Duke of Death and His Maid. And this 3D anime is pretty slapping. In fact, it, like, when I, I didn't know it was 3D when I first started watching it. And when I started watching it, I actually did, like, three takes to be like, is this actually what I'm seeing? Is it 3D or are my eyes just deceive me? 
But no, it actually was. And for some reason, they decided, ha- like, their background, which I think is what makes the show, like, easier on the eyes, is, uh, like, 2D for whatever reason. It looks like, a, like an oil painting style, which is pretty unique. But the most unfortunate thing about it is that the... And in the 3D art style kind of conveys this. The original art style of the manga I thought was really interesting because it kind of like looked like an anime Tim Burton-esque style. I don't... Maybe it's just because of the whole frilly, like, the old clothes. There's not really any stripes or anything, but like the whole tired eyes the Duke has and the way, like, the sister, the little sister's character design in the manga is very Tim Burton-esque with, like, big eyes and, like, kind of gothic style clothing i don't know I, what am i even talking about anymore anyways the 3d animation was pretty damn good end of story is what i'm saying uh and other than that i don't really have that many complaints about the animation um they do take a whole lot of the filler stuff out which was i'm arguably the main plot of them like flirting back and forth and like and i'm basically giving the duke a lap dance every episode look but don't touch because if she touches him she'll she'll die so that's kind of a bummer and that moves on to my next point about the story i kind of wanted to talk about which was the fact that the this it starts off looking kind of the same whole generic main character that you see in every single like etchy rom-com esque style where like the main character is kind of spineless and doesn't actually like like is proactive in any of the advances but the main character at this time actually has an excuse for it, and that's if if he does try to advance the relationship, uh, she'll die, and then the show will quickly become like a necrophiliac story, which isn't at all what I signed up for. A lot darker than I originally anticipated. But yeah, so in order to avoid that, don't touch her. How sad. But the if that curse didn't exist, it actually probably would go forward and find it like a way because he does show initiative to go forward it just you know he can't on a fundamental level so i just thought that was kind of a unique take on the whole show of a uh, virgin boy doesn't actually do anything because virgin boy can't do anything this time i just thought that was something i should touch upon but um i guess there's a there they're like i think they it's been a while since i read the manga I think it's been a, about a year or so since I read the manga, but I do believe they actually changed up the like the story, uh, like main plot points of when things actually happen because I believe they met Walter pretty early on. Uh, however, you they only just introduced that character in the anime, which uh, in, c- in case someone like hasn't gone that far ahead in the show, and this isn't really spoilers, so I guess I'm comfortable with saying this. Walter is the Duke's. Uh, younger brother and they introduced him only like I think like an episode or this or episode 8 episode 7 or 8 which I think they introduced him way earlier on in the manga but I can't remember exactly <sighs> used to say overall I say the show is pretty good and if you're all, all interested in the whole like etchy rom-com scene I believe this is definitely a must watch if you're into that kind of thing because the 3D animation is actually pretty good like it's not bad at all i'm always gonna be like i know i might like this is if i might i know i might be crucified for this opinion but like the three animation in the show pretty damn good overall like the good old good red-blooded anime fan i am i'm always gonna prefer the 2d animation i would have preferred the show to be in the 2d animation but you know take what you can get uh this is a much better uh, in comparison to the alternatives I've seen in 3D anime. Uh, how long have I talked about this one single aspect? But then again, it is a very important aspect, I believe. You don't see many of these types of creatures lying around. 3D anime, as that is. <sighs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, go watch it in case you haven't. But um, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty good. Uh, sorry if I didn't say anything meaningful uh, this time around. I try to always give like a two cents of my of my opinion on shows, but this isn't really a whole. This isn't a series you can give a whole lot of opinion on. I mean, if I had to say something about it, I'd say 
this is a problem, a much bigger problem in the manga than the anime. The anime is really speeding up the pace, but in the manga, like they're taking their sweet damn time and progressing the actual like uh, story, uh, the subplot, if you will, of the mystery of how to break the curse, why the curse even happened in the first place, yada yada yada. Um, I guess that's the only uh, thing I can really say about the show that I haven't already said. Uh, and I do try to say things about shows uh, when I do talk about them, but I usually fail. Anyways, uh, before I continue rambling on, uh, I'm going to end the video. Uh, a little sneak peek for the next video I do. It's probably going to be another one of those Dear Diary type videos that I do quite frequently nowadays. And because I'm saying this in advance, it's not all going to be completely meaningless topics. Uh, hopefully, or maybe I'll completely change my mind. Who knows? Anyways, uh, if you like the video, uh, consider dropping a like. It uh, helped me out emotionally. If you have anything to say, constructive criticism or like a recommend, like or a recommendation, or something you want to see me do or talk about, uh, comments are there. Uh, if you want to do a big boy move, perhaps can even consider dropping a subscribe. I definitely appreciate that as well. Um, anyways, that's, yep, I think that's going to do it for tonight, because it's nighttime for me right now. Uh, very well. For now, at least, hopefully, maybe I'll see you again, or maybe not. Who knows?